Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play God of War Ragnarok. Now this episode of Let's Play is going to be much different from all the other episodes. Why? Well, it wasn't until I started editing the video that I noticed my microphone stopped working within like the first five minutes of me recording this episode. I was pretty frustrated since it worked at the beginning and all the other ones it was fine, but this one it just... I don't know what happened. All of a sudden it just was not working. So for this episode, instead of me talking in the actual video itself, it's more of a voiceover. But that's fine because at this point in the game, I was super exhausted. I just finished a long stream. I've been recording probably about six hours worth of video footage and my brain was a ride. I just was so ready for bed, but I also just wanted to keep playing because I wanted to find Tyr and find out what happened to him. How is he doing? I really thought, hey, we're going to have to fight him. So I was eager to see if we do and what that fight would be like if we had to. Just something like a like a feeling. I just kind of felt like we were going to have to fight him. What do you intend to stop Odin? Because if you know his plan, I don't know his plan. That's why we're here. <laughs> Brothers, with Fimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Across the way. There's another door. Maybe that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Powered up. We're almost there. So here's a fun fact about this part of the video. Around this time was when I was starting to get really nervous about getting lost in the mines. There's so much to explore and unlock and see in this game, especially in this mine area. It looked like it was much bigger than what I had anticipated, so I was really nervous about getting turned around and being stuck in here for hours.
These mines were full of so many different puzzles. It was just wild to me to see so many. I'm really glad though that they do put puzzles in God of War because it's a nice balance to all the combat. And I also just like that they're not too difficult where you get stuck for days or have to YouTube it. They're a bit of a challenge where it takes you a little bit of time and patience. However, it's not too difficult to the point where you get frustrated. The two biggest ones I came across, I did edit out since we were having so many tech support issues. certainly weren't here. Best look around. Is that a relic? I thought this dwarf didn't make... be able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother, perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Hill built by Durin the Generous. <laughs> we want these Draugr holes. We've got to clear out all the undead bastards. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. <laughs> Another Draugr to the left. <laughs> Behind you! Look out! Yo! 
This fight was so painful. My mic didn't need to be on for you to know that I'm yelling shit. Fuck, damn, god damn it, fuck. Get out of the way, shit, damn, fuck. I think the best part about all of this was I actually thought that I could go back in and kill it the second time. I don't know why. I, I'm i not that person. Something in me was just really upset and really wanted to take out this boss. I can say that I did not think that I would come across some bosses that felt this difficult when starting out. As if things couldn't get any more stressful, right after I got destroyed by this boss, my camera stopped working and it was then that I knew it was time to hop off the game, go to bed, and come back to it later. I was so done with everything. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Let's Play. If you'd like to hang out between videos, I do stream on Twitch in the evenings. And make sure to follow me on my socials linked down below. That way you can stay up to date. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.